Okay, so we'll now have a look at elevations. So if you go to your ground floor, now once again the default template already has um, four elevations set up, so north, um, east, south and west, south and west. Now if we wanted to add another one, let's say we wanted to work on um, you know, a weird sort of angle or something, so we're not actually going to be able to see that um, properly from from this elevation. So go back to our view tab again and we'll click on um, elevation. So now what you'll find as you move your without placing the elevation yet, as you move your mouse around the direction of the elevation is going to snap to um, an element uh, that it's closest to. So as I move it over towards this angled wall I know it's going to line up with that. I can press tab if I want to change the direction of the elevation um, so that just cycles through the different views but as I said I want to just look at this wall so I'm just going to drop that here and you can see that so when I click um, on the actual arrowhead of the elevation this is giving me my view range similar to intersection so I can just pull that in um, and it it's wants to snap to the end of that wall and this one will want to do the same thing and then I can just bring that the scope of that in a, in a bit closer so if I right click on on that and say go to elevation view and have a look at it yeah, although it's very high at the moment I can just bring that view range up but you can see this is actually just that wall um, with those doors looking at it f um, flat on um, so that's elevations um, as you can see these ones that were, were set up um, by default if we go and have a look at them so go to elevation view you can either right click on them or um, get to either of them in your properties palette here so this elevation that we added has been called elevation 1a so we can click on that and rename that to front in the front door or front and that'll just rename it in the project browser here. Okay.